Senator Grace Poe meets the lawyer who filed the first disqualification case against her. Petitioner Estrella Elamparo calls Poe stateless and not a natural-born Filipino. She says she sympathizes with a neophyte senator, but the rule of law should be followed. She says it is the present constitution that treats Poe as stateless, not her. Hanggat hindi pa nababagong konstitusyon at hindi pa nababagong ating mga, ba ang ating mga batas, ang kailangan sundin natin yung ating kasalukuyang saligang batas at kasalukuyang batas na nagkasabing ang katulad po ni Senator Grace po na hindi nalalaman ng kanyang tatay at nanay ay hindi maaaring makapagsabi na siya ay isang natural born Filipino citizen. Poe says the accusations hurt. She adds even refugees such as the Rohingyas of Myanmar have a birthplace. Sa lahat ng sinabi niya, ang pinakamasakit siguro ay sinasabi niya na wala akong estado, stateless. Ibig sabihin, hindi ako nabibilang sa kahit na anong bansa. Na kahit naman ang mga Rohingya o kaya kung anumang mga refugees ay binibigyan naman talaga ng pinanggalingan. So siguro, balikan natin kung ano ba ang dahilan na meron tayong konstitusyon. Ito ay para magkaroon ng katarungan, ito ay para depensahan ang mga ang karapatan natin. This is only one of the four cases pending before the poll body seeking to dismiss Po from the 2016 race. The cases focus on two arguments. One, that she is stateless being a foundling, and two, that she lost the right to run when she renounced her Filipino citizenship. As for her residency, Po maintains she has met the 10-year requirement and is qualified to run for president. While the Comelec 2nd Division has not yet decided if it will consolidate all four cases against Poe, it ordered the two camps to submit final arguments by November 23. The disqualification cases against Poe jeopardizes her presidential ambition. If the presidential frontrunner wants to credibly lead the Filipino people, she'll need to settle her citizenship and residency issues. Camille Lamia, Rappler, Manila.